What is up guys? Welcome back to another video and this episode is about troubleshooting overclocks and lossless scaling on the Steam Deck OLED. If you saw my previous video, you know we were getting issues with power draw when we were on and off display, meaning it was higher on display and it was lower off display and I figured out what the issue is and you could just skip the rest of this video, uh, but if you do want to watch it and hang out with me, I appreciate it. Thank you also for that like and that sub. <laughs> but the issue was the frame limiter. So what was happening is the moment you disable the frame limit, loss of scaling was breaking the wattage on the Steam Deck. The moment that frame limiter was back on, fixed the problem. So what was happening was once the external display had a frame limit, the Steam Deck was just pumping power into it. But when I was going back to my Steam Deck, um, it had a f no frame limiter on there and that was causing it to have the issue. So yeah, that was the problem. This video is just me troubleshooting that problem. But yeah, there you go. Hopefully you enjoy it if you want to watch it. If not, thanks for watching this first two minutes. Peace. What is up guys? Welcome back to another video. And today we're going to do some overclock testing. This is the LCD Steam Deck. It is a 21 watt TDP. 3800 on the CPU and 1800 on the GPU and right here you can see that we're getting pretty close to the TDP that we're asking we're pulling between the two just under 1819 watts and we're using this external display 1080p 60 frames but you'll see that uh, we are currently um, at 1280 by 800 window mode and the reason why we're using Kingdom Come Deliverance 2 is because it has a FPS counter. We have an FPS counter. You can see it back here, kind of, sort of, maybe a little bit. We're getting 37 and then we're doubling it to 75. Um, I want to check and see if frame generation is on. It feels like it's on and maybe you can see a little bit of the frame generation here on the crosshair. Um, I feel like it is not there. And to me, and this is going to be recording at 60 frames, this feels like 60 frames. So there's no doubt in my mind that Gamescope is correct here where this is saying it's 60 frames. Now here's the weird thing. If you saw my last video with the OLED Steam Deck, you'll notice that our power draw changes once we unplug the system. We're gonna unplug the display and we're gonna look at this LCD Steam Deck and see if it changes. So TDB, so we're about 14, 15 watts on the GPU and on the CPU we're about three watts. Let's see if it changes here on the LCD. So LCD wattage has dropped as well. We're down to 10 watts, 1.6 on this on the CPU, but we're still getting our 60 frames. See that? We're still getting our fixed 60 frames. So what was happening with OLED is happening with the LCD now as well. So it might be a common thing with a Steam Deck in general that when you're not hooked up to the display, you're not gonna get full wattage. So we're gonna do one test. We're gonna go to power tools. We're set on performance. And all we're gonna do is switch it to power saved and back to performance. And you'll automatically see our TDP jump back up. Automatically out of the gate, it jumps back up to kind of where we were at the screen, maybe slightly lower, but pretty close. Pretty close in general. And you can see in here too, this feels like a smooth 60. This feels good. Actually, technically this one's overclocked to 70 hertz now. We got 70 hertz on this display. So this actually feels really, really good with this overclock. And if you want to know how to overclock, I will link uh, the video I just posted on how to do it. And it works for both the OLED and the LCD. So now we know the LCD is working fine, right? Um, it does have this weird issue where it switches when you go from the external display to this normal display but for the most part we're able to correct it we're not getting at 15 watts that we were getting earlier but with power tools we were able to correct it what we're going to do next is we're going to unplug this and we're going to put the oled and we'll show you the same problem with the oled currently on the oled and i just wanted to show you that it is overclocked 22 watt tdp on this thing 3800 on the cpu and 1800 on the gpu so slightly higher on this one than it was on the LCD. And I only did that because I was dealing with, I, I, I'm i just testing it out. But this one does have a slightly higher TDP. Now we have the OLED hooked up 
to the external display, you can see that we're getting 15, three. Our overall frame rate seems to be lower than it was on the LCD. Um, we're only getting about 60 frames. Um, you won't be able to see it behind game scope. Let me just, but you can see that we're getting about 31-ish frames currently. So we are doubling frames. The LCD is running this game a lot better uh, when it comes to just overall frame rate. And the TDP is nearly identical on this. So that's very interesting. All right, let's do the, the schmear test. So it seems like the frame generation is unnoticeable, just kind of like it was with the LCD. Um, I'm staring right at the same screen you guys are looking at, and I don't see doubling of the crosshair here. And overall, the game plays pretty, pretty well, but the LCD was getting slightly better frames overall. We were actually hitting 40 frames, and so let me double check our settings to make sure everything is correct. Window, medium, overall, quarter, quality, no frame limit, 800p. Everything's exactly the same as it was with LCD. We get 2x multiplier, kind of the real reason for this kind of same problem. We're going to unplug it. We're going to go to the OLED right over here. All right, hopefully it doesn't crash. Frame rate, I mean our frame rate, well, it does. our overall frame rate has dropped, our TDP has dropped, everything has dropped. So let's see if it works just like it did on power tools by just switching it from power back to performance like it did on the LC. And it didn't look like that did anything. I'm going to do power save. I'm going to hit reapply settings. When I did that before, it automatically jumped to TDP last time, but doesn't look like that's working. We're going to go performance now and then attempt to jump to TDP again. Again, nothing I'm doing will jump this TDP. It seems for whatever reason, the OLED only will push more wattage when in dock mode, unlike the LCD. But the LCD did this very similar thing. We were able to override it with power tool like it really make it really upsets me <laughs> i want to use the this oled i technically can't because the lcd just runs it runs the game so much better even in handheld mode it just will not use the performance okay i'm gonna do one more test i'm gonna turn off lossless scaling and see if it will work with lossless scaling off. We'll just give that a shot. All right, we're back on an external display. It looks like our wattage has dropped quite a bit, actually. It's less now than it was earlier. We're gonna go to, so let's go to power tools and let's switch it from power save to performance. Oh, it looks like that did it. So it, it's it's doing that. So it jumped back up. So that's why another good reason to get power tools is now look, we're doing the fit for 15 and three there. We're getting a, a lot better frame rate feels good this feels wow this feels a lot better now with that extra overclock my temperatures are pretty dang high though I'm not gonna lie we're at 82 room temperature is 79 Fahrenheit um, it's like 27 Celsius 26 Celsius yeah so it's it looks like it's working just fine uh, with no lossless so let's back out we're going to disconnect this external display see if it does that again all right so our wattage has dropped again on the steam deck we're going to do our power tools trick see if we can get it back up to the 14 watts that we were getting and we're just going to go from performance to power save yep worked again all right so the bug is with loss of scaling it looks like with the overclock on the oled it doesn't seem like they don't they don't like each other for whatever reason um so what we're going to do is we're going to do some tr we're just going to do some testing i'm going to try loss of scaling with a, a cap frame rate and we'll go from there so we'll do 2x with a cap frame rate. we're back in here we have a disabled the frame rate we have a locked frame rate of 90 FPS and we also have um, lossless scaling on 2x. See if that helps here and it looks like, oh wow, don't tell me that was, it was as simple as that. So we are getting our full wattage now 
with loss of scaling on. Double check our settings. Everything's the same. Wow, so that's that was it. It was the uh, lock frame rate. Yeah, this feels good. All right, let's just double check um, our little wall here. See if we see any frame generation going on. Frame generation looks good. According to the game, we're getting 40 frames right now. Show you that real quick. Getting about, oh, that one's in the way. Sing 81. Uh, 41 frames, so that's pretty cool. So it's running way better now. Okay, so now we'll do our test again. We'll plug it back into our external display and see if we can switch back and forth because that was kind of a pain. Plug her back in. So our wattage has kind of dropped. Um, we're going to do our little trick with power tools. We're still getting pretty good wattage, but I know we can do better. All right. Oh, there you go. Our trick worked. Performance. Power save to performance. And our wattage has jumped right back up to 14, 15 watts. I do not see the frame drain. Maybe it's there. I th All right, in game is about 38 frames right now. It's a little bit less than it was when it was just in handheld mode. But this feels pretty good. This does feel like 60 frames to me. And again, that 30 frames felt pretty good too as well. Okay, so at least we figured out the issue. So back in handheld mode, our wattage has dropped in handheld mode. But we'll do our power tools test. Power tools, and we're just going to switch from performance to power save, and then back. Yep, and that fixed the issue. So, guys, so you guys know what's going on here. If you have an OLED Steam Deck, and you're having issues with your power consumption when you're overclocked, or power consumption in general... I think it's not even the overclock. I think it's the fact if you're using lossless scaling on the OLED especially, I gotta double check the LCD to see if we had a frame lock on there as well. If you put disable frame limit, it breaks the Steam Next TDP for whatever reason. You have to you have to make sure you have a frame limit on your Steam Deck. And let me go grab the L o LCD and see if it has the same settings. All right, so we're on the Steam Deck LCD, and we have the same settings. So this one was at there was at 70 frames. That's it. Um, there was no frame lock on this one as well. So that may have been the issue the whole time. The fact that we had uh, disable frame. Let's see that. Look, look at that. It just kills the wattage. Let's turn it back off. It just jumps right back up. That's so funny. That's so funny. Well, there you go. We figured it out. We figured it out. I'm glad I was able to figure that out. Um, hopefully this helped out anyone else that was dealing with the issue. It was the frame limit. If you disable the frame limit, um, you're going to have problems with your TVDP overall. And I guess that makes sense because when we were switching from external display uh, from the SD to external display that frame limit is on because you have a max frame limit on this display which is 60 frames so what was going on the fact that we were frame limited was allowing our TDP to go up but the moment we disabled the frame limit the T our TDP went down and I'll show you again for illustration so right now we have a frame limit of 90 our wattage is pretty up there with 14 the moment we enter our frame limit or disable frame limit, our TDP just plummets. Turn that off, goes right back up. So, wow. Oh, uh, wow. Very interesting stuff. I'm glad we figured that out. 
So that all that means for now is we get to use the OLED, overclock, lossless scaling, getting all the added benefits. This is a 22 watt TDP, and we're got 81 degrees on there right now, so that's pretty good. But you know that's not good enough for your boys. So next time we're gonna cut this bad boy open. We're gonna do some uh, vent mods on there. We're gonna open it up just like we have our basically do this to this all right so we're gonna do a custom back plate we're gonna have a heat sink and fan we're gonna have our little fan fan shroud we're gonna go ahead and throw a dongle on there probably this exact dongle with the stilts all on the OLED so that we can make this OLED run cooler we'll probably throw a battery bank on it as well um, and we're gonna make this thing a beast now. Oh man, the gaming on this is gonna be unreal now, now that we can use both lossless scaling and overclock. There's a finally a reason to overclock. I've been wanting to hack this thing open. I've already got a little taste there. Um, but I have stayed away from it just because I didn't really see a point into doing it. But now we have a huge reason to do it um, because we are gonna be pushing our TDP um, and we want to make sure this thing lasts as long as possible, so we need to keep it cool. I think a 20 to 22 watt TDP is going to be our goal. And if we can stay below 80 degrees while pushing that uh, TDP, that's going to be a good thing. Considering it, we're already at 80 degrees, so we're going to do the vent mod. We're going to get a cooler on the back here. It's it's going to be it's going to run even cooler. So um, stay tuned for that. We're going to be hacking this bad boy up. But other than that, guys, thanks for watching. This was a fun video. We learned something new. And uh, thanks for watching.